Hey guys, welcome back to Dwarf Rule 16. I am your host Jivon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. The Dressing Out Clear Obscure Expedition 33 for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3 10105 with the AMD RS Vega 64, a gigabyte VRAM graphics card. We're running with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and dual channel memory, and boy oh boy, is this game gonna make me suffer right off the bat. So we're running at 1080p on the low preset. We have, as I said, the anti-aliasing, which is basically native 1080p, which is not recommended here, obviously. They say that the lowest, the minimum requirement of 1080p, uh, 10, GTS 1060, they're liars. You need to use some upscaling for this. And unfortunately, this only has T TSR and XCSS. So we're going to go down to Ultra Quality Plus, because as you can see, I'm getting about 36 frames per second with 1080p low native. So we're going to go down just to get a bit more frame rate in there. As you can see, we have gone up to 40 frames per second. The thing about this game, though, is the settings scale a lot better than you would think they do. Like you see, I'm getting 43 FPS right now. We're actually gonna. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I can actually do the high settings, and this will be fine. You know. So I lost. Think about that. I just went from from low. I was getting 43 frames. I went to high, and I'm getting about 38. That's insane. I've lost like six frames. That's it. That's the amount of frames I have lost. So once again, it's one of these games. Nowadays, these games run in a way that they look really good even on low settings. But because of that, it means that even if you go from ultra to high, you barely get ultra to low. You barely get any improvement, which sucks. But I'm going to use ultra quality for this. So we're not even using native 1080p, but it's 1080p high with FTS as I said to ultra quality. As you can see, once again, we're going to go through the settings and then we can go through here. There's, look, that didn't even budge. Ultra quality, honestly, that didn't even budge. Now, my CPU also can become a bottleneck at certain points. It's certainly not a bottleneck in the open world. Let's go somewhere else and see what happens. This is going to be a big fight, so uh, it's probably going to take a few minutes. <laughs> Let's get into it, though. Let's just see what happens. Alright. So. Oh, crap. I wasn't paying attention again. I won't lie to you. It's hard to dodge it, and it's hard to dodge it while I'm dealing with this crap at the same time. So, yeah, just, uh, just, just keep that in mind. It's a bit hard to... to, to to look at all this. There you go. So yeah, it's a bit hard to do, to look at all this and then still attack at the same time. Just keep that in mind. Ooh, you got the burn status. So yeah, we're getting about 38 frames. It's it, 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 it. I didn't dodge. I didn't dodge because I'm talking at the same time. I'll do it. It's hard. To, it's, it's hard to, to focus when I'm when I'm talking at the same time. I can't even look at this because because I'm looking at the specs at the same time. It gets really difficult, dude. Like absurdly difficult just doing this. That guy. But he's taking damage. Nice. So realistically, I, what I do for this game is I cap it to 30 frames per second. But this is the open world area. It's more demanding here than it is anywhere else. If you're wondering, just keep that in mind. I feel like I need to point that out. It is more demanding here. And anywhere else. Once you actually get into the main game, it's not as demanding. I will show you that as we go back, though. He's not gonna... No, you need to blast him. There you go. He was already dead. That was a waste. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, the, the open world is a bit more demanding than the actual... 
I did not dodge again. Why? I don't know. Because I can't multitask apparently. There you go. The burn killed him. So that is how the game performs. Once again, I am once again I am in the open world. We're gonna go back here real quick just to show you guys how it actually runs when you're walking in, you know, just random normal places. This game gets more demanding as you play. Trust me on this one. You will see an uptick in performance once you get back here. There are limiting factors everywhere in this game. Getting to 60 is not the easiest thing in the world. But let's do some changing to settings now again. As you can see, my frame rate has gone up to around 46 now, 47. As you can see, this is 1080p high with the ultra quality preset. Like I said, performance does get better as long as once you're not in the open world. We're going to go back down to low real quick with ultra quality. See that? We're getting over 50 at low now. My CPU is also being pushed a bit, but eh, it's fine. I just wanted to show you guys how this naturally runs. We can get 60 if I go to performance, but that's a bit too much. Just to get 60 frames. But you can do it, and then but it will drop. It's not gonna be consistent. That means I have to that's performance I'm at. That means I have to do ultra performance. It looks terrible at ultra performance. Okay, it looks terrible there. Necessarily the Vega can handle this game, it but I, I recommend playing at 30 FPS. So that's why I just use 1080p let's use medium of quality once again as you can see 50 frames medium might actually be the better option if you want a higher frame rate in 30 and you want to be in the 50s medium with XC as I said the quality is getting 50 frames it's still gonna do once you get into the open world but most of the game is gonna take place in the open world so there you have it and once again I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to please leave a like comment and subscribe and stick around for more content I'm probably going to die soon because I forgot to because I forgot to charge my health but yeah I will see you guys next time forward. Not looking good.